Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a review and show you why I love this Shark AI Ultra Robot Vacuum Cleaner. It has a self-emptying base. This is model number AV2511. So the reason I like this uh, robot vacuum cleaner is it'll clean your house, then it backs up, it comes over here and it charges itself, but then it also empties out into this self-emptying base. Okay, so this robot vacuum has AI laser navigation. It also has a bumper pad when it runs into things, it's gonna tell it to stop. But here on the bottom, we've got two drive wheels, we've got a front steering, we've got these sweepers that rotate, there's the brush broom. We also have these edge sensors. And then as it vacuums, it's gonna put all the dirt back into here. This is where all the dirt goes, but the machine will self-empty this. So let's put this back in. So when it's docked, all the dirt and debris will come out of this right here when it docks itself. And, and there's a vacuum cleaner inside here that's going to suck everything out of the vacuum cleaner, out of this robot vacuum cleaner through this port right here. Then when you're about every month or every 60 days, you're going to empty out this container right here. And that's very simple to do. You're going to press this button. You're going to take this whole container. You can see I've been using mine for a couple months now. It's completely full. You're going to take this over to the trash can, press that button right there, and it'll all empty out. Now, we do have a HEPA filter here on the side. Once in a while, we do have to change. And once a month, we do have to clean this filter up here. So when the robot vacuum cleaner docks itself, it's going to charge, and it's going to turn on this vacuum cleaner to suck everything out. And that's what it's doing right now. We've got these indicator lights up here to let us know what it's doing. Okay, so then it stops and now it's charging and the base unit has power. So that's what that light means. The base unit has power and this means that it's charging the robot. We do have an on off switch on the back side right here. So make sure that on off switch is on. Now I'm going to show you, I've got an iPhone hooked up to with the shark app. You can control it with the shark app on the iPhone. Or you can simply just come up here and press the clean button and it'll clean your entire house. And say you're, you want it to stop cleaning while it's cleaning, just go over to it and press the dock button and it'll find itself and dock itself and empty it out. Now this is a vacuum cleaner only. It doesn't do any mopping. It will vacuum hardwood floors and carpet at the same time. Okay, so here I've got my iPhone. Now when you first get your Shark AI vacuum cleaner, you're going to have to do an exploratory run. That's where it goes through your house and it'll map your house. Once it maps your house, then you can go in and add some rooms, which is very easy to do. Once you've got some rooms, then you can select individual rooms to clean, or you can just say clean the whole house. So here I've got the vacuum cleaner right now. It shows the status of the charge. It's ready to clean. I can hit clean the whole house. I can do just rooms. Let's say I want to do just kitchen, family room. I can do matrix clean, which means it's gonna uh, really deep clean the, the room. Or if I want to do a spot clean, so say I've got a spot in the kitchen that something spilled, I could just do a spot clean right in that area. Okay, so I'm going to tell it to clean the hallway. I'm going to do a matrix clean. Okay, so now it, the vacuum cleaner has undocked itself and it's going to start cleaning the hallway. Okay, so this thing's really cool watching it run through your house. It knows exactly what room to go after you done after you do an exploratory run and map your house. It knows exactly where it's at. And this is my hallway. It's going to clean my entire hallway now. So the nice thing about the iPhone, so say I want to pause it, I can tell it to pause and it will pause. And I can even tell it to go back to the dock and it'll dock it. So say I get tired of hearing it clean, I can tell it to go dock itself. But let's go to resume. Okay, so I put some dirt and debris on the floor. We're going to see how well it cleans. Yeah, it's doing a good job. It got all that coffee grounds, that dog hair that I put on the floor. Okay, so it's clean in the hallway. Let's say I wanted to go, I'm going to go tell it to go dock itself. Go to dock. So it's going to stop what it's doing, and now it's going to return to the dock. Again, it's pretty cool watching this thing um, run through your house, go into different rooms. So it's going to go in front of the dock, and it's going to make a circle, and then it's going to back up to it. And that's how it charges itself and docks itself.
And then after it docks itself in about 10 seconds, it's gonna turn the vacuum cleaner on inside the self-cleaning unit. And then I like that you can walk by it and you can see how much charging it's got left to go. When that is fully solid, that means it's fully charged. It's got a Wi-Fi light. So when the Wi-Fi light is solid, that means it's connected to your Wi-Fi. So again, whatever dirt and debris it picked up, it's gonna suck it out using the self-cleaning base. So we can see we did have some dirt and debris in here, but there is a little flapper valve that when it docks itself, it does suck everything out of this chamber right here. Okay, so let's go empty out my chamber. I've been using this for over eight weeks now. Press this button. Okay, you're simply gonna take this over your trash can, press this button, the flap's gonna come down and everything comes out. It is bagless. Sometimes you do have to get some of the hair. There are some screens in there, but you can see it did a good job. So we have dogs in our house. This thing got a lot of dog hair, a lot of fine particles, even some big chunks but it just does a really good job of cleaning your carpet and your hardwood floors. So there's two things that I've found that really help these shark robot vacuums. One is put it on a schedule. Have it start and stop the same time every day, at least five times a week. I have mine start about nine in the morning and it runs until it gets the whole house clean. Now, the reason I say put it on a schedule is because I'm, I always forget to kind of go over and hit the, either the clean button or use the app but you can always cancel the clean. So say you do have some company over something and it starts cleaning, you can hurry up and cancel it. But if you got it on the schedule, it seems like it does a really good job of keeping your house clean. They're not really meant for a deep cleaning of your house. If it gets really, really dirty, they're really meant to kind of keep it clean and clean it every, you know, put it on a schedule and clean. So using the app under the settings, you can change it. The, the robot vacuum will talk to you. But next thing is put a do not disturb on because if this thing, say you have it start cleaning at nine and it doesn't get done, it's going to charge after it gets charged back up. It's going to go finish cleaning. Now I have, have had that start in the middle of the night one time. So make sure you put the do not disturb on. I got mine from 10 PM to 8 AM resume and charges on. So say it's cleaning and it needs a charge, but it's not finished cleaning. It'll go charge itself and then finish cleaning preferences evacuate and resume. So if you've got like dogs or your house tends to be dirty, you want to turn that on. That way it'll make more trips over to evacuate itself and then continue cleaning. Now your map of your house, it will get better over time. So as it continues to clean, it's going to continue to map your house. I do find that the map of the house is pretty accurate. And again, going into editing, you can add rooms, you can add no, adding no go zones is pretty important. So under zones, you're going to add no-go zones. There's my no-go zone. So it has trouble sometimes in the bathroom. Underneath the bed, sometimes it has trouble. So I'll put a no-go zone. Around the computer desk, I put a no-go zone there also. Okay, so let's go have it clean some hardwood floors. So we got some hardwood floors or linoleum by the front door. I'm going to clean just around the front door. Now, if I press the clean button, I do have three levels of clean. I can do eco, which saves the battery. I can do normal or I can do max. So let's do max and let's, it even tells you how long it thinks it'll take for it to clean that. And let's hit start cleaning. Now the map, it doesn't show you where the robot is on the map, but it does at least give you the current charge. Okay, so it undocked itself and now it's coming over to the front door area. I've got some coffee grounds on the hardwood floor, so we'll see how it does. Now it does transition from a rug to the linoleum very easy. Okay, so it did pick up all that ground coffee. Okay, so let's see now, let's see what happens now when there's a shoe in the way. It did sense the shoe. So it is avoiding the shoe. It's not trying to run the shoe over and push it. Okay, so this robot retails for $600. It is on sale for $500, not right now. I consider this robot a workhorse. It cleans my house. I think it does a really good job. The only area where it kind of, it doesn't do the best is so say if you have dog poop and the dog poop is really low to the ground, it will run it over. If it can, if the bumper can hit it, it'll stop it. But if it, it has to be high enough for this AI laser navigation to uh, sense it, if it's high enough, like how that shoe was high enough, it will not run it over. But 
My dogs don't make accidents in the house, but they do leave a lot of dog hair. And this thing, setting it up on the schedule was the best thing I did. I just forget about it. It's always cleaning. And I'm amazed when I go to empty that bagless uh, chamber right there, how much stuff is in there. Now with this bagless system, you do have to keep up on maintenance. There are filters inside here. I'm going to do a separate video on how to clean these filters. They get really dirty. And it is kind of a messy job cleaning those filters. Bag, um, robot vacuum cleaners that have bags for the base unit, they do require less maintenance, but you do have, a, have to have a bag on hand. Now there is some work you got to do on this once a month. There is a filter inside it also, and you have to clean that out and change it. You don't necessarily have to change it, but just cleaning it out and putting it back in. I love that the buttons are easy access. I can just say, say we got company coming over and I don't want to grab my phone. I just come up here and I hit the button clean and it starts cleaning. And say it's making a lot of noise and I don't want to hear it anymore. I can just go right to the vacuum cleaner, hit the word dock, and it goes and docks itself. I really do like that feature. We've got a dining room table with a bunch of legs for the chairs and it does a really good job of getting around all those legs. Another thing I like is the base unit. So some base units are really loud when they're emptying it. So when the unit docks and it turns the vacuum cleaner on inside here to suck everything out, it's, it's loud, but it's not super loud. There are some that are extremely loud. I consider this to be just right. I can tell that it's definitely emptying this out, but it's not so much that it's going to scare you. So I have found the app. They have improved the app a little bit. It doesn't work on Android uh, tablets. It works on Android phones, but some of the older tablets I've found that they're not updating the app. But for iPhone and iPad, they've got all those. They're keeping those up to date. Um, I find the mapping is getting better. Adding the, the rooms is getting a little bit easier to do. That's going to be so important there, going in there, editing your map. Now, it doesn't show you where it's at during the clean process. There are other RoboRock and different ones kind of show you where it is actually cleaning and where the robot is at while it's cleaning. But I, I like to just consider this like a workhorse. It's not a, you know, if there is something low to the ground, it is going to run it over. So it doesn't have really fine work that it can do. But man, having it on a schedule, just kind of deep cleaning it or cleaning every day on that schedule. I really do like that part of it. Again, it's only vacuuming. It doesn't do any mopping. So I had an earlier version of this that was in the color black. I, I really do like it. It's in the basement right now. I was trying to see what the differences are with this white one. I really don't notice a lot of differences. They seem to act about the same. But I do like this color a little bit better. It seems like it blends in with the surroundings a little bit better. So again, be sure and check. I'm going to do comparison videos. I've got the um, iRobot J7 Plus. I'm going to do a comparison with it. I got the RoboRock. We're going to do a comparison with it also. My reviews on robot vacuums are more of a real world. I use them. I put them in my house. It cleans my entire house. I see where the shortcomings are, what I like, what I don't like. And then I, I use it for a while. And then I come up with my review. Because to me, a robot vacuum has to be, has to, two things have to be pretty. It has to do a good job cleaning. The interface has to be relatively good and easy. And then how's the monthly maintenance on it? How much do you have to clean on it? This one, there is a little bit. You do have to keep up on those filters. I'll put a link to this in the show description notes. I am an Amazon affiliate. If you click on the link, the product won't cost you anymore, but I do get a percentage of the sale. I did buy this Shark Robot vacuum with my own money, and I'm just very happy with this purchase. I do think I like when they go on sale. So you can get some really good sales on these, these Shark AI vacuum cleaners, these robot ones. I love the self-emptying base. It just charges. It just That's what I really do like about it. And getting them at a good price really is nice. So I hope my video helps. If you could, please like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.